you're looking at uh, SDR console software and I'm running my um, ELAD uh, FDMS2 SDR receiver and it's tuned to 909 kilohertz that's a BBC Radio 5 Live in the UK it's quite a strong signal here on medium wave and it's a nice clear signal and it's a, it's a talk station which is uh, why I'm using it for this demonstration and uh, I just wanted to show you the um, the filtering on AM mode and what we should expect, the sort of quality we should expect when we switch in a, a narrower band filter. So we're on 6 kilohertz bandwidth at the moment on 909. I'll just turn the volume up on the radio. How long it takes to empty a full bladder. And so there was a group of scientists who, <laughs> once again, I love the idea of them sitting around. And hopefully you'll agree that's uh, quite good fidelity. And if you look at the uh, the display on the SDR, we can see that um, that six kilohertz bandwidth is is we're basically capturing all of the the bandwidth of the the signal. Um, I'll turn the volume up again and I'll switch from six to four kilohertz and we'll see if there's any difference. So that's six, and that's four. Okay, so okay, we're still still pretty good fidelity. You can see on the SDR display that we're chopping a little bit of the, the band edges of the signal out there, but it still sounds pretty good. So let's drop now to 2.5 kilohertz, which is kind of the average um, SSB um, filter bandwidth, but we're in AM mode. So we're on 4. Let's go the volume up. Loads of urine. Um, the, the There's 2.5, 2.5 kc. It's like a fire hose. All right, so... Now we can see that um, the fidelity is not quite as good. It's a little bit more muffled, but it's still, I would say, fully readable. We could listen to this uh, signal and we could uh, get all of the information that we need from the transmission. That's no problem. We now drop down from two and a half kilohertz to one kilohertz. It's really true. And it's not true. So that's two and a half. Here's one. Now you can see at one, uh, it's very muffled, it, we're struggling to understand what's being said and I don't really think anybody could listen to that signal for any length of time. It's very, very hard going. So I'll go from one straight back up to four now. So we're on one. Silhouette macaque monkeys. Back to four. All I want to do is put them in front of a typewriter. And, and at four, it's quite pleasant. It's quite a listenable signal. And four, if you've got, uh, particularly if you're on the shortwave bands, there's a, you're on a busy band, there's a bit of interference. You'd probably be looking for a filter band with around four on a good strong signal, maybe six or maybe even eight on a very strong signal. But you wouldn't normally, even if there was uh, other stations nearby, uh, if you've got decent filtering, 2.5 kilohertz wide would be about as narrow as you'd go on an AM signal. So let's see if it's the same with the uh, D808, the Suodon D808, or, or the XH data, whichever you prefer. That's got a number of bandwidths, and let's see how they sound on a similar signal. Let's see how the Suodon performs with the bandwidth filters. We're on the same uh, radio station. BBC Radio 5 Live, just because it's a talk station and it's a pretty strong signal here. Let's turn the volume up. We're using the widest filter at the moment, the 6 kilohertz filter. And blisters on the bottom, so which that's 6 kilohertz. Really hard to stand up for long. I can't wear any other shoes apart from flip flops. That's 4 kilohertz. Else, it still like sounds fine. Sounds about right. About 4 KCs. It's yeah. like too sore on them. All the There's 3. And all the you can hear it narrow a bit, negative, it's cut a little bit of the background hiss out. Everyone still thinks it's um, long COVID. Well, let's 2 talk 5, to Mackay, uh, not much difference between that and the 3. The 2, and maybe a very slight difference on the 2 kilohertz okay, bandwidth. So we've seen, I've seen pictures knocking around of uh, this COVID that's 1.8. For people who haven't seen it, just explain what it's Not much like. between that and the 2, that's not so too surprising, but it, it, it sounds too wide. For an AM signal, 1.8 kilohertz uh, shouldn't sound like time. that. Uh, Let's drop to uh, one kilohertz. This is the narrower setting we can use. Um, people realise because they say, "Oh, 
I suddenly felt my shoe were hurting and uh, or people are typing or using now, their fingers. So that is far talking. too intelligible for a one kilohertz setting in AM. So that one kilohertz bandwidth is a lot more than one kilohertz, I would uh, suggest. Young people and people who may be completely asymptomatic. And that's back and to the six. thing is, we've known about this for a while. Now, I'm not suggesting that there are not adjustable bandwidths on this D808. Certainly, the bandwidth button has some effect. But I think that they're a lot wider than is specified in the firmware of the radio. So when we're getting a 1 kilohertz, we're getting a wider bandwidth filter than that. And a number of the narrower filters are very similar. There's very little between them. So probably, in truth, we've probably only got three effective bandwidths in AM with this radio. But uh, it is interesting to see the difference between a 1 kilohertz filter on this and the 1 kilohertz filter on the ELAD where we could barely um, understand what was being said. So there you go. Thank you for watching.